show that for an isothermal process, the partial molar volume, so if you have some quantity, say X, with a bar above it, a bar can be many things, but in this case, that bar means partial molar. So what you've done here is taken the derivative of X with respect to number of moles. So what we want to show is that the partial molar volume is how chemical potential changes with pressure at constant N and T. That's interesting. If you measure the partial molar volume, see how volume changes with number of moles, then you have how chemical potential changes with pressure. Not something you can think up uh, immediately. All right, so let's show that. Let's say, as we said, now G, the Gibbs free energy, is now a function of both of number of moles in addition to pressure and temperature. We got that third variable in there. And when we talked about Gibbs free energy, it was non-PV work. So that non-PV work, when we add number of moles, is chemical work. We now do what we did before, take the derivative with respect to the various parameters. And this is an isothermal process. So let's say constant temperature. So we don't have to worry about this. The only two things are changing is number of moles and pressure. Let's take the derivative of G with respect to number of moles at constant pressure and temperature, and then take the derivative of this with respect to pressure at constant number of moles, and what well, it's got temperature here. Now we have two things you have to hold constant because three variables, g is a function of three variables. So let's reverse the order. Uh, g is a state function, so we can reverse the order of differentiation. So this would be how g changes with pressure at constant number of moles and say we're isothermal temperature and then take the derivative of that with respect to number of moles at constant pressure and temperature. This we've defined as the chemical potential and this remember how G changes with pressure at constant N or T you can go look that up but in fact what that is is volume the conjugate variable that goes with pressure. So just write this how mu changes with P at constant N and T is how volume changes with N at constant P and T and this is defined as the partial molar volume how volume changes the number of moles that's just partial molar volume so it looks like we've shown that partial molar volume is how mu changes with P at constant N and T all right, so that's it for lecture eight. We'll, we'll develop the idea of Gibbs free energy and start moving into chemistry in the next couple of lectures. Thanks for listening. Have a nice evening.